Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Dervatis. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. And I've decided to create this YouTube channel as a resource for my own patients and basically anyone else out there on the internet who might be looking for answers and information about intrauterine contraception or IUC for short. My goal is to prevent a series of brief videos that answer every question under the sun about IUC. The why, the how, the pros, the cons, the side effects, the potential risks. And after many years of practice and literally thousands of IUCs and IUDs that I've inserted, I've heard so many of the same questions. And so I wanted to create a series of very short, specific and informative videos so that my patients and anyone else trying to educate themselves about contraception can easily find answers to their most common IUC questions. Now, a lot of people have been wondering why suddenly there seems to be so much more talk about IUC and intrauterine contraception. IUC is not new. In fact, it's been around for decades. And now for many years, there were various myths and misconceptions that meant that doctors didn't always think to offer IUC to every eligible patient. And as a consequence, most sexually active patients that might have been excellent candidates for IUC didn't even know that it existed as an option. We are trying to change that. The Society of Obstetricians and Gynecologists of Canada, the American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, and even the Canadian Pediatric Society are all emphasizing that intrauterine contraception should be the first line option offered to all sexually active women and adolescents, regardless of their age, regardless of whether or not they've already had children. Now, why is that? So in this introduction video, I'm going to start by telling you what I think are the top three reasons why IUC should be considered a first line or go-to option for women um, looking for effective contraception and for women that don't have contraindications to IUC use. And there's actually very few contraindications to IUC. Probably 99% of the population is able to at least give it a try. So reason number one is that the IUC is the very most effective contraceptive option we have available to off offer uh, women in terms of reversible options. Put it another way, if you really, really don't want an oops pregnancy, why not use something that's really, really effective and worry-free? Something that's there every day doing its job, but that you don't have to think about. There is about a two per 1,000 to six per 1,000. So 0.2% to 0.6% chance of pregnancy with an IUD. Depending on the type of IUD you choose, I'll talk about the differences in another video. But bottom line, a less than 1% chance of getting pregnant with an IUD. Now, alternatively, did you know that in the real world, so not presuming that we're robots who have been programmed to take a pill every day, but actual human beings who have to remember to take the pill every day, did you know that in the real world, the chance of pregnancy on the birth control pill can be as high as 9%? 9%. And now condoms, which are really important for preventing sexually transmitted infections, did you know that the chance of pregnancy in the real world, actual use, did you know that the chance of pregnancy with using condoms alone to prevent pregnancy is 18%. An 18% chance of getting pregnant if you're only using condoms. So with numbers like those, it's not surprising that half of all of the pregnancies in North America are actually unplanned pregnancies. And even though an unplanned pregnancy can have such life-shattering consequences, I always find it so amazing that the number of my patients that have absolutely no idea about the effectiveness or ineffectiveness of their current contraceptive method. My joke is I always say that most of my patients seem to know more about the Kardashians than they do about their own contraception. So having said that, reason number one is the effectiveness of the IUC. If you really, really don't want to get pregnant, why not use something that's really, really effective? Reason number two is that IUC is safe. I'll do an entire separate video about the potential risks and side effects of uh, the different kinds of IUDs, but for the purposes of this introduction, I will summarize by saying that an IUD is a very safe method of contraception, both 
considering in and of itself and also in comparison to other uh, methods such as the birth control pill. I'll address some of the myths about IUD safety uh, in a future vi video. Um, most of those myths deal with the type of IUD from more than 40 years ago that again isn't even on the market now and has nothing to do with current contraceptive options uh, and IUDs. But just think about it, if the SOGC, ACOG, CPS, all of these organizations that have patient health and safety as a top priority, they wouldn't recommend IUC if, uh, as a number one option if it wasn't safe. So reason number two, IUC is an overall safe method. Reason number three is that IUC is reversible. So even though the most commonly prescribed IUDs are good for up to five years, they don't have to stay in that long. They can be easily removed at any time and the patient is technically able to conceive in the very next month. A lot of women are afraid to use an IUD because they think that it might have a negative effect on their future fertility, but that's 100% a myth. Again, a lot of that has to do with thinking about previous ancient IUDs and potential consequences, IUDs that aren't even on the market anymore. The current prescribed IUDs do not have a negative impact on future fertility. Again, why would organizations devoted to women's health and obstetrical care recommend an option that might threaten future fertility? It's just not true. The IUD helps prevent pregnancy when you don't want to be pregnant, but it won't stop you from being pregnant in the future when you want to be. So just again to emphasize, IUC is a reversible form of contraception that won't have a negative impact on your future fertility. So this has just been a very brief introduction. I have a lot to say, lots of information to give you about IUC and about contraceptive options in general. The information in these videos represent my own personal expert opinion and not that of any IUD manufacturer or any other organization. Having said that, if you have uh, questions and are looking for more information about contraception and sexual health, I would highly recommend the website www.sexandyou.ca. It's the official sexual health information website of the Society of Obstetricians and Gynecologists of Canada, and it's a terrific, valuable, and reputable resource um, for information. Now, I usually warn my patients not to Google too hard because they're there's good information, but there's also some misinformation out there on the internet, but this website is definitely one that you can trust. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for future videos. Don't forget to help spread the word about IUC. Tell your sisters, your daughters, your friends, basically anyone who's sexually active and doesn't want the, the drama and the stress of an unplanned pregnancy. Uh, and by the way, in less of the time that it took for you to watch this video, you could have had an IUC inserted. The whole thing takes about five minutes. So the motto in my clinic is five minutes, five years of worry-free contraception. So remember that. Um, okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.